Welcome to Art with Janine Liza and another fun adventure in Cricut Design Space. This time we'll be changing shapes. I'll be showing you some of the tools I use to alter, warp and change shapes. Let's start with cutting and subtracting. I'm going to pick a star. I'll move this away from the edges of the grid so that it's easier for me to expand and decrease the size without worrying about it being too close to the edges. Now I'm going to need to get another shape that I'd like to cut or subtract from this one. I'll pick a circle and I'm going to change the colour of it. I like to change the colour of it so that I can see it clearly on the shape that I'm making changes to. So I'm going to make it the size I'd like it to be, shrinking it down by grabbing the corners and then selecting it and dragging it over to where I'd like it. If I want to centre it, I'll click up in the corner and select both objects, click a line and centre horizontally. Then I can also centre vertically. And it doesn't look quite in the middle to me. Even though it is uh, mathematically correct, I am going to just drag this down a tiny bit to centre it visually. Now I'm going to select all by clicking in the left corner and dragging down. Oops, just adjusting again. And then I'm going to come down to the slice button right here. When I click this, it creates three different parts. It basically divides it up and you have your original circle and then you have the slice that you took out of it. Now, if you need these extra shapes, then this is a great way to do it. But if you don't need those extra shapes and you just want to get rid of that circle instead of creating another one, you would place it in the center, click and drag, go down to the combine button. And there's lots of options. There's weld, unite, but we're going to choose subtract. Subtract will make the circle disappear. So essentially you've cut out the shape that you wanted to get rid of, and now you have what is left. That is how we slice or subtract. I'll just shrink this down and move it up into the corner and out of the way, and take a look at how it's going to be cut as well. Once you have made your shape, you want to check, you know, how would you like to have it cut out or print? And those are the options up there. Now we're going to slice the shape in half using the same techniques as we just used for the star, only with slight adjustment. I'm going to select a pentagon and a square, change the color of the square, make it larger than the pentagon so that I have a nice edge that is longer than the shape I'm cutting and you can place it over to cut. But I do find lining up the first shape with a line on the grid helps. And then grab the rectangle and move it over and line it up with that six line as well. Then select up in the corner from the left, both of them, and click slice. This creates four parts. Now, if you need these parts, that's handy. You can see they separate like this and you have a nice half shape there. You can click undo until they're back to their normal shapes and then select again and use the other option, which is combine, subtract. And now you have sliced the shape in half and you're ready to use it without having all the excess. So far we've changed shapes without using the Cricut Access, but this time we're going to try a Cricut Access tool, which is called Warp. I'm going to expand the size of this heart, move it over a little bit so I can see it while I make adjustments and select the Warp tool. Make it wow in a click, it says with Cricut, at, click, cut it with Cricut Access and then don't need to read all that. You can see it on the screen. Okay, so now let's see. We have all these different options so we can just start to play. 
So just click away, try the different angles and warp your shape. <laughs> it's pretty cool actually, it's fun to watch. There's also an adjustment bar for adjusting the percentage of the warpage. I am, you can see it down at the, uh, the lower part there. I'm just going to uh, find my favorite one, which is, uh, looks like a really pretty heart shape there. That's the one I'm gonna leave it on. And there you go. This is how we use the warp tool to change any shape, even imported shapes. It's kind of fun to know that you have the flexibility of having any shape you need in Cricut Design Space. Now let's flip a shape. So we'll just take this triangle, it's right here, and you can, you can see it, it just shows you, you can flip horizontally or vertically. Horizontally won't do much for a triangle, so I'm just flipping it vertically, and there you go. It's, my computer's running a bit slow, here we go. So that's how we flip the shape. Now let's just look at adjusting a shape. So if I bring in a rectangle, and I want to make it larger, I can grab the corners. I can also click the more button at the top and adjust the shape. Um, I can pull and push the sides the and the top and the base. So you can use the rectangle like a line if you needed to in any of your um, artworks. You can also drag it and uh, make a very long line with it. So these are just very simple adjustments, but just showing you how you can change the shapes. For someone just starting out, hopefully this will be very helpful to you, just to sort of open the door to understanding the flexibility of the software. Let's look at duplication and cutting out several shapes from a shape. I'm starting with a circle, expanding it. Then I'm going to click the duplication tool up here in the right corner. You can see it duplicates the shape exactly. Now I'm going to delete that and show you that you can make several of the same shape by clicking duplication a few times. One, two, and three. I'm going to undo this. Then I'm going to duplicate only once and shrink this circle down to the size that I would like to cut out of the larger one. So I'll change it to red so I can see it more clearly. Then selecting only the small circle, I'll click duplicate again, as many times as I need to place as many small circles as I'd like on the larger one. Once they're all placed, I could use the Align tool to straighten them all out. But I'm just going to try this Combine button down here to see what Exclude does. It seems to do the same thing as Subtract. So we have now got the circle with four circles subtracted. Let's click Undo Exclude. It undoes the slice, but it um, keeps the small circles the same color as the background. So now let's select again and go combine and exclude again. So now we have the circle with the four cut out. This looks like a button with four little holes in it. <laughs> Now let's try the intersect tool to change a shape. I'll select the octagon and a circle. I'll change the color of one of them. Let's make this blue. And I don't think I need to change the size. I'm just gonna overlap it. So I'm gonna overlap it and the goal is to cut out a shape from the octagon using the circle. So let's select, go down to combine and intersect. Let's see what this does. There we go. So whatever was underneath the circle is the shape that I'm left with. So I'm gonna place this up here. 
Let's look at some of the tools we've used so far before changing the final shape in this video. We've resized and subtracted, sliced and subtracted, warped, flipped to shape, duplicated, resized, and used the exclude tool to cut smaller circles out of this circle. Layered two shapes in order to use the intersect tool to cut out part of the octagon and adjusted the size and shape of a rectangle in order to make a long line. Let's adjust one more shape for this video. Let's go to this heart here. Another alternative for duplication if you want the same size shape as the original is to just click and get another shape. And I'm going to place these two together and we're going to use the Unite tool. After lining them up where I'd like them to be, I will select them, click on the Combine tool and find Unite. And this will make them into one shape. Now when I select the Colour tool and change it, they're both the same colour because it is now one shape. I can shrink it down and move it around where I'd like it to be. I hope that sharing what I'm learning in Cricut Design Space is helpful to you. It's something I'm loving to do and I hope you are too. So until next time, I hope that these uh, adjustments to shapes help you with your personal designs and I look forward to making the next video. I do need to mention that there is no paid product promotion in this video. You might see a little sign of my little Etsy shop and that is my personal shop that I have listed on my YouTube channel with permission by YouTube to have the link there. I'm just learning as I go and sharing that with you. If you'd like to find more of my videos and possibly try your hand at painting too, please go to Art with Janine Lizer on YouTube and feel free to subscribe.